teacher Erin and today we are wondering are rabbits just another type of rodent and the answer to that is no rabbits belong to an order called legomorphs that are their own order that includes rabbits hares and pika while rodents they have a lot of things in common with those legomorphs they're their own groups of animals that have some differences as well they have a lot of similarities because these two groups legomorphs and rodents often live their lives in very similar ways and eat very similar things. One thing that people notice right away about legomorphs and rodents is that they have big front teeth. So they've got two sets of incisors on top and on bottom that they use to chip away at lots of tough plant material so that that chisel-like uh, teeth help them to snip off delicious foods that they want to eat. But our legomorphs have something a little bit extra. So they've actually got a second set of teeth that are behind that top front pair that aren't really noticeable from the front, but it is a difference between those two groups. Our legomorphs are all herbivores, meaning they only eat plant materials. But some of our rodents do like to eat some meats, which makes them omnivores. So that's another difference between those two groups. Our legomorphs don't have any iron in our in their teeth like many of our rodents do. So our rodents, like those beavers and some of our squirrels, have really yellow, orangish teeth. And that's because they have iron in their teeth that helps them to kind of keep a very chisel-like blade on their teeth. Instead, our legomorphs have that enamel all the way around. They don't have any iron. And that means that even though those teeth are growing all the time, they aren't quite as sharp as those rodent teeth and they're never gonna look yellow or orangish. Another thing that legomorphs and rodents have in common is that they will have several large litters of pups several times a year. So they can have lots and lots of babies in one year. But unlike rodents and really most other mammals, the girls of our legomorphs, so all of our rabbits and pikas and hares, they're all gonna be a little bit bigger than the boys. And usually for most mammals, it's the other way around and that includes rodents. We have three types of rabbits here in Kentucky. Around Louisville, we only have the Eastern Cottontail. But if you head out east to the Eastern part of Kentucky, you'll find the Appalachian Cottontail as well. If you go down to the Southwest corner where they have lots of wetlands, you'll find the Swamp Cottontail. We don't have any hares or pika in Kentucky. Our Eastern Cottontail likes to live around suburbs, cities, pastures, fence rows, and forest edges like this one. They like to eat lots of flowers, seeds, leaves, stems, and lots of green stuff that are above ground. And unlike how we normally think of rabbits burrowing under the ground, our eastern cottontail only beds down on the top of the ground. So they're never really digging. They will find a nice soft spot in the grass that they will bed down in and raise their litter of pups, or they'll be underneath a shrub. And while most of our rabbits around the world like to live in big groups, our eastern cottontail is a little bit different and actually likes to live a nice solitary life, except when they're raising a litter of pups. Now you may be thinking at this point that all of our legomorphs are gonna have big, tall ears because that's what we think about when we think about those rabbits and those hares. But pika don't have really big ears, but they're still a legomorph. They have short round ears and can be found in mountainous areas around North America and Eurasia and they really scurry more than they jump. So they look a little bit more rodent-like, but they are still that legomorph. For an indoor craft, we're gonna make a painted rock. And you can make it look just like one of those legomorphs. I chose our Eastern Cottontail and I even added a pom-pom for that fluffy tail on the bottom. So you're gonna wanna choose a rock that's about the shape that you want it to be, but you're also welcome to get creative and do some things that are not gonna be rabbits or legomorphs. When you're finished with this craft, you can keep it as an artwork up on your shelf or a paperweight, but please don't put it outside where some of that paint might wash off into the soil. For your cottontail hike, you're gonna choose a hike that's gonna take you through a pasture or a meadow, prairie, some type of open grassland because they like a little bit more open spaces rather than close forest. Although they do like to hang around, out around those forest edges. You're gonna keep your eyes peeled for those cottontails. Um, they like to come out early in the morning, so head out earlier on the morning, 
or maybe around dusk because they're not going to be too active in the very middle of the day. They're going to be a little bit more shy of people. But you can also take a look for some scat, which is going to look a little bit like deer scat, and it'll probably be a big pile of it because they always go to the bathroom in the same spot. Or maybe you're going to see some chew marks on some plants because that those teeth marks are pretty obvious. Uh, what they look like just because of that shape of their big incisors allows you to tell that it's always going to be that 45 degree angle out in a pasture. Probably a good bet that that's a rabbit, but it could also be a rodent. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all next time.